Animas is a 2019 Netflix psychological Spanish horror film that may leave some viewers scratching their heads. There's a lot to unpack from the ending of the film, so to try and clear things up, I've put together my thoughts on it as well as the events that happen throughout the movie. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want to know anything about the ending of the film, then I highly suggest that you turn off now. But for everyone else, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I watch it so you don't have to. Okay, so in order to fully understand the ending of the film, we must first uncover the identity of Alex. Whilst I've seen many people wondering whether Alex was a ghost, spirit, or even guardian angel, I think that it's pretty apparent that Alex is none of these. Instead, Alex is an imaginary friend, or rather, a separate personality that Bram invented in order to deal with the abuse that he suffered from his father as a child. Those with split personalities are often victims of trauma, and this is a film that is very much about the invention of another personality in order to deal with events that may cause pain. For example, other cases of this in recent pop culture include the film Split, which deals with a boy who was so badly abused as a child that he invented several personalities in order to allow them to take the brunt of the punishment without affecting his own psyche too much. Similar to this, Batman has been said to be a personality that Bruce Wayne invented in order to show that he was more than a traumatised boy that watched his parents murdered in front of him. Traumatic experiences often split the psyche so that the brain can disassociate with things and this is what Bram had to do to handle the abuse that was dealt to him. In the film, it appears that Alex has become a real person, but this is due to the psychosis of Bram. We see hints towards this second personality throughout the film, most notably in the Psycho poster. Psycho was of course centred around the character Norman Bell who too had a split personality. In that film, Norman murders several people under the belief that it is actually his mother doing the deed, and this allows him to distance himself mentally from the crime. Similar to this, in Anima, the other personality suppressing certain aspects of a scenario happens in the case of Bram's father's death. We learn that it was in fact Bram's mother that killed his father, and he only managed to end up with the car keys because Alex picked them up, put them in his pocket, and then suppressed this memory so that there was confusion over the event. The film asks the question, what defines a real person, and if so, does Alex fit under that definition? If you define a real person as someone that has their own personality and is able to operate and do things, then yes, Alex is real. However, and this is a big however, she only exists in Bram's mind, and the two have to share a body. Throughout the film, we also see different colours used to portray different emotions, and these traffic lights share symbolism with their real world counterparts, with green meaning Bram is safe, amber meaning that Alex is, and red meaning that they are in danger. It's a nice subtle touch that I think adds a wealth of depth to the work and does elevate it quite a bit. Whilst I've seen many say that Animas is a confusing mess, to me it does make at least some sense, though it definitely requires a few rewatches to see how things come together. The film isn't necessarily cut and dry, nor should it be. There are lots of elements in there that are put in deliberately to confuse the viewer and make them second guess their assumptions. Whilst Animas isn't necessarily for everyone, I still did enjoy the reveal and though I wouldn't recommend it, it still poses some deep questions in regards to its ending. So, what are your thoughts on Animas and what did you take from its ending? I'm completely open to being told I'm wrong about things in it, so if you disagree or agree, make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of Serenity, which I think has the worst movie twist of all time, so give that a click at the end of this video. This is a channel for people who are heavy into horror, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.